Hey everyone! I'm so excited that you all have been enjoying the free Firefly overlay, but I have been getting a lot of questions about it, so I thought I would do a short tutorial and just kind of go through the steps real quick and show you how to use it. Especially for those who are new to overlays, um, it's they're super simple to use, and the steps are you know the same in both you know Photoshop CS and Photoshop Elements. Although I'm not as familiar with Elements as I am with CS. So here I am in CS and I'm going to show you um, how, I, how I got the fireflies on my, my image. So here's the image with just without the fireflies. These are my boys. Um, they were totally sick of taking pictures for me at this point. So my two-year-old's expression isn't really all that great. <laughs> but I am... Here is the overlay and, and here's the image. You have to open them both up in whatever whatever program that you are using. And it's so simple. All you need to do is bring your overlay down, drag your overlay on top of your image, and then you can go ahead and lower that and just set it on your image. Place it wherever you want it. I think that on my original image I kind of had it up a little bit more. I didn't have very many fireflies down here at the bottom, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to you know, place it straight on your image. So there it is, and over here in our layers you can see that I have the overlay selected. And I'm just going to go into the blending modes here and hit screen. And that will make the black completely disappear and you're left with just these lovely little fireflies. But obviously my son has some fireflies on his face here and there's some down here and I don't want any haze or any fireflies on them except for the haze that I added to the jar. So I'm just going to add a simple layer mask down here and we want to keep it white but we want to go over here and select our brush we want to make sure we're using a black brush at 100 percent opacity and we just want to brush that off brush off the fireflies brush off the haze and since you can't really see every every firefly that's going to be on your on your subjects you just kind of want to go over it carefully and just make sure that you get get it all because you don't want to look back at the image and be like oh I missed a spot and then have to redo it because that spot would drive me insane so I'm pretty happy with the rest of the fireflies but if there's fireflies that you don't like and you want gone you know you can simply just take your black brush and erase them but as I'm looking at my image I'm pretty happy with it except for some of these flares over here that I just I just don't like so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna erase them and you can erase you know any any of the flares that you don't like, any of the haze or anything that you see that you don't want there, you can go ahead and just erase it. And then there you are. You're you're left with just the fireflies. So there is the before the fireflies and there's the after. It's so simple. I also got a question about the brightness of the fireflies. Um, I think the reason mine appear to be so bright is just because my photo is so dark. And as you can see, I used the exact same overlay that you did. So, you know, I, I went through the same steps that I told you guys to go through. So I didn't really do anything different other than my image is just dark. The way I edit it is, okay, I don't want that. To, my, my edit, my image is just dark. But if you're not happy with it and you want them to be a little bit brighter, I think the easiest and best way to do that is to simply go over here to your overlay in your layers, right click, and in this menu, you want to hit Duplicate Layer. Just click OK. And as you can see, that just automatically made the fireflies so much brighter. Now, I don't like them that bright. I kind of like them the subtle way that I had them, so I'm going to leave them subtle. But this is probably the best way for you to get your fireflies brighter if you need to. Um, the other way you could do it is you could go over here to your levels and play around with your highlight slider but as you can see that brightens up everything and then you're going to have to make another layer mask and it would just probably leave a lot of haloing around your subjects and it would just be way too much. It's it's just so much easier just to duplicate the layer and be done with it. So there you go. Um, I'm going to delete this layer because I don't want it that bright. And then you just go up to your layers and just flatten your image. Hit OK. And there you go. And then there's your image and there's your fireflies. It's so easy. So I hope that this tutorial helped you. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask.